Okay, this problem is uh, has to do with a prism, and um, we know that this is a refraction problem. So we'll just say refraction up here. They tell us that our incident angle is 45 degrees. This is our theta i. Um, they tell us that our index of refraction for the prism is n is equal to 1.58. And we need to calculate the angle at which the light emerges. So we're looking to calculate theta 4. That's what we want to find out what theta 4 is. So there's a number of steps in this problem. Um, but we do know with refraction, we're going to be using Snell's law. So we might as well write that down. And um, the first step that we need to do is we, we know our theta i, and we now need to calculate our, um, our theta transmitted. So we have theta 1, and we need to calculate theta 2. So n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2. So to find theta 2, we're going to say um, sine theta 2 is equal to, we're dividing both sides by n2. So we'll get n1 over n2 times sine of theta 1. I can plug that in. So sine of theta 2 is equal to 1. So 1, my index of refraction here is n is equal to 1. I know my index of refraction in the prism, and my index of refraction here is also 1. So that comes in handy. Here my n1, in this case, is n1 is 1, and n2 is 1.58. And my angle is sine of 45. So then I can calculate, once I get this number, I can take the inverse. So theta 2 is equal to sine inverse. So this is 0, 0 0.44. And so theta 2 is then is equal to 26.6 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my next slide. Um, just let's look at this um, a little bit bigger of a picture. Uh, one of the things we know is that, so we have this theta two, we know theta two, but there's nothing we can do with that information to find theta three. There's no, uh, uh, nothing we can do, but we do know something about the angles in our equilateral triangle. We know that, um, these angles, since it's equilateral, each one's equal to 60. So I have 60 here, 60 here, and 60 here up at the top. So what we can do is if we know theta 2, I can figure out this angle. And I can figure out this. I know this angle from theta 2. I can just say 90 minus theta 2 gives me this angle. And now if I have both of these angles, I know any triangle, the angles add up to 180 degrees. So I can just say 180 minus 60 minus this angle will give me this angle. And then once I have that, I can use 90 minus this angle that we found to find theta 3. So let's go through that. So we know theta um, 2 is 26. So if theta 2 is equal to 26.6, then we know this angle, we'll call it, uh, we'll just say this angle is 90 minus 26.6. And so that is 63.4. Right, and then how do we find out this angle? Well, that's just 180 minus 60 plus 63, which is 123.4. And so that angle right here is 33.4. So this angle right here is 33.4. And then theta 3 is going to equal 90 minus 33.4. And so that is equal to, I'm sorry. Um, so uh, this angle is 63. Oh, this, this is the wrong angle. So this angle is actually 56.6. And when I, when I subtract 56.6 from 90, I get theta 3 is equal to 33.4. So I have theta 3 now, and I can do Snell's law again to find theta 4. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to call this in, n in, and this n out, just so I'm not um, having lots of 1, 2, 3, 4 subscripts. So n in is equal to 1.58. and out is equal to 1. Those are indices of refraction. So I'm going to use n in inside the prism sine theta 
3 is equal to n4 sine theta 4. And so, um, so that means that sine theta 4 is equal to, oh, sorry, this should be out, out. So sine theta 4 is going to be n in over n out times uh, sine theta 3. So I'm going to get n in is 1.58 over n out is 1. Um, and then sine of 33.4 is equal to sine of theta 4. So theta 4, when you plug that in, you end up with an angle of 60.4 degrees. OK, so the hardest thing about this problem is figuring out these angles. And so just to recap, I used the, uh, the fact that these two angles, theta 2 and the 63.4, are complementary angles. They're, the angles add up to 90. I used the fact that these three angles add up to 180. And I, and I use the fact that this angle is 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. And then finally, I use the, ang the fact that these two angles are complementary, add up to 90 to find theta 3.